Hello again, everyone. Today we will learn the chorus and the bridge of Let It Go. Here is the preview of what we'll be learning today. Okay, my fingers are now numbered so that it will be easier for us to see. What we left off from the last video is the end of the verse, which the lyrics goes, now, well now they know is the lyrics. And uh, we did two, three, four, five with the right hand. So let's move right hand to get ready for the chorus, which is very similar to the video one. So your thumb goes to E, your number two goes to F sharp, number three goes to G. And you're ready to go. Now, left hand, let's move it up or to the right. So your thumb, number one, goes to B, and number three goes to G. Here we go. So you go right hand first. One, two, three. Extend your one to D between the two black keys. One, five, four. And let's keep going right hand. Three, one, 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 two, three. Now with the lyrics, this is the part. It goes, let it go, let it go. Can't hold it back anymore. All right. I'll do it again. One, two, three. Extend your one to D. One, five, four. Three, one, 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 two, three. All right, let's do the left hand. So left hand, again, I am number one is on B, number three is on G. So let's start with those two together, one and three together. Twice. Now move one to the left. So my thumb is now on A, and my pinky, number five, is between the two black keys, D. One and five together, twice. Now, next part is two and four. You don't have to move. Just stay in the same position. Two and four. Two and four again. So twice. And then move one to the left again, like that. Now my thumb is on G, my pinky is on C. So do one and five together. So from the beginning, it goes, so go back to your original position. My thumb is on B. One and three, one and three, move one to the left. One and five, one and five, two and four, together twice. One to the left, do one and five together. All right, now let's put them together. All right, left hand, let's go back to your original position. Let's start with your right hand. So you're gonna go one, two, three. Left hand, let's do one and three together, twice. Extend your right hand one to D and go one, five, four. Move the left hand, I mean left hand to the left. One to the left, do one and five, twice. Now, right hand three, now both hands together. Right hand one, left hand two, left hand four. One, two, four, all together, three notes. And hold the left hand, keep going right hand. One, one, now you're gonna do those three notes again. Right hand one, 
left hand two, left hand four, all together. And then keep going, right hand, two, three. Now hold the right hand and then keep going, left hand, move one to the left and do one and five. And one and five. Now that is the part, the lyrics goes, let it go. So now we're getting ready to go to the next part. The lyric for the next part is, let it go, let it go. Turn my back and slam the door. So it's very similar to what we have learned. So let's put your left hand back to your original position. So now my number one is on B and my number three is on G. But let's start with your right hand. One, two, three. Now again, my thumb is number one is on uh, e and number two is on F sharp and number three is on G. All right, let's start over from the um, top of the second part. One, two, three, and then um, extend your one to D again and go one, five, four. Now let's move your right hand one to the right. So it goes just one to the right. My Pointy number two finger goes to G. All right, that's where I start too. Two, three, four, five, four, three, two. I'll do it again. Ready? Two, three, four, five, four, three, two. Now, left hand is very similar again. So. Let's do them real quickly. I think you probably get a hang of it already anyways. So number one and number three together. G and B. Twice. Now move one to the left. Like that. One and five together. Twice. Stay in the same position and do two and four together. Twice. Then move one to the left again. One and five. All right. Left and only. Let's do it together. Here we go. Go back to your original position. You got it? Here we go. One and three. Twice. Move one to the left. One and five together. Twice. Don't move. Stay in the same position. Then do two and four. Twice. And then move one to the left. One and five together. All right, let's put both hands together. So I'll put my left hand back in the position. We're gonna start with your right hand. One, two, three. And do left hand one and three together twice. And then do um, extend your number one to D, which is between the black key again. One, five, four. Left hand move one to the left. Do one and five together again. Now let's move your right hand one to the right. And do two, three. Now, next is both hands together. I'm gonna do number four, right hand, and number two and four, left hand together. Now, right hand only, keep going. Five, four, now do the left hand again, two and four. Right hand, do three, two. Now move the left hand, one to the left, and do one and five, twice. Let's do it again. So I'll go back to my original position. Here we go. One, two, three. Left hand one and three. Extend my number one to D. One, five, four. Move my left hand one to the left. One and five. Now move my right hand one to the right. Two, three. Now both hands together. Four, right hand. Two, four, left hand. Four, five, four. Do the left hand. Two, four again. Right hand. Three, two. Move the left hand. 
one to the left and do one in five. So that's the part it goes, let it go. to go to and here I stand and here I'll stay now right hand has to move one to the right so my thumb number one has to go G and my number five pinky goes to between the two black keys high D left hand is uh, number one is on B number three is on G so let's start with your right hand one five three two one, five, three, one. Pretty easy, right? And with the lyrics it, lyrics, it goes, And here I stand, and here I'll stay. All right? Now, left hand is, again, I'm, number, number one is on one, and number three is on two. Three and one together, twice. Move one to the left. One and five. And stay in the same position, do two and four again. And then move um, one to the left and do one and five. So we, we're starting to see uh, the pattern with the left hand. Let's do that again, left hand. So go back to your original position. My thumb is on B. One and three, twice. Move one to the left. Do one and five together twice. Stay in the same position. Do two to two and four together twice. And do one and five. Move first. Don't move to the left. And then do one and five together. All right. Now let's put both hands together. Now let's move my left hand back to the original position. Now right hand start with number one. And when I do my pinky number five, right hand, I'll do left hand one and three together. All right, so that is right hand number five, left hand number one, left hand number three. Now hold the left hand and keep going right hand. Three. Do the left hand one and three one more time. And two, two. And move the left hand one to the left. And do one and five. Twice. So that is. And. Here. I. Stand. All right, let's move on to here I'll stay. Let's start with your right hand, number one. Now, next note is right hand five, left hand two, four, all together. All right. Keep the left hand down and the right hand go to three. Do the left hand two and four again. And then do the right hand one. Let's move the left hand one to the left, do one and five together. Like that. All right. So let's start from there. Let's move the left hand back to the original position. And here I stand. And here. Okay, now we're ready to finish up the chorus part. So we're in this position right now. Let's move the right hand down um, to like this. So your number one finger is on E again. Number two is on F sharp. And number three is on G. Now let's move your left hand to the right. My number one finger is on B. 
Number three is on G. Let's start with your right hand. This is the part that it goes, let it go, let it go. The cold, cold never bothered me anyways. So here it goes. One, two, three. And extend your thumb to D between the two black keys. One, five, four. Let's start with that, actually. Now, um, let's do that again. One, two, three. Stretch your thumb. One, five, four. That's for the right hand. Left hand, pretty easy. One and three again. One and three twice. And then move one to the left. So pinky is between the two black keys. One and five together. Twice. Now, let's put left hand back in position and put both hands together. All right, ready? So, start with your right hand. One, two, three, and hold it and do left hand one and three twice. Good. Now, extend your thumb, number one finger, right hand on D, and go one, five, four. Move the left hand one to the left and do one and five twice. Let's do that again. I'll put my left hand back in position. So this is, uh, the lyrics goes, let it go, let it go. Now, next part is up to you. There's two ways to do it. The first way is you can go down here. That's when Demi does uh, after the first verse. It's the lower part. Cold never bother me anyways. But I'm going to actually show you the higher version, which she does it after the second verse, which leads um, to the bridge. But it's basically the same thing. So let me show you how you do that first. Now your right hand, number three finger, the tallest finger, goes to the high C. This one. All right. And then make sure your thumb actually, well, second finger is on B. Now make sure your thumb, number one finger, gets this G. So you're skipping this note and go to here. Now, right hand goes three, three, two, three, three, two, three, two, one. That's like a tongue twister. Three, three, two, three, three, two, three, two, one. Now the left hand is actually pretty easy. It's one and five together. Play it and hold it. That's all. And that left hand goes with the first three. Now hold the left hand and keep on going with the right hand. Three, two, three, three, two, three, two, one. Now, if you want to do it down here, you are like this. So again, your both thumbs are on the same G. So it's kind of uncomfortable because you have to share that G, like, you know, but like we were saying before that if they don't fight and get along really well, I think it's okay. So that would be three, three, two, three, three, two, three, two, one, like that. I'll quickly move my uh, left hand one out of the way so that I can do it with the right hand. If you can do it with the left hand one too, it's up to you. And if you like to do another verse, that's your um, decision. But I'm going to show you actually going back to the higher version. And then take you to the bridge part. Okay, now we're ready to start the bridge. Now, bridge is really, really pretty. I really like this part. That's my favorite part. So let me show you how to do that. So we... What we left off is the cold never bothered me anyways. We did it up here. Three, three, two, three, three, two, three, two, one. Now, right hand is kind of going back to where we were. So let me show you how my position will be. Number three is on G. Now, number one is on D between the two black keys. Number four is A. 
So three on G, one on D, four on A. Now, um, let me show you the left hand, I mean the right hand first. You're going to go three and one together. And you're going to go four and one together. So that's standing. All right. Now, let me show you the frozen part. It's exactly the same thing. Three and one together. Three and one. And four and one. All right. Now, let me show you the left hand because when it comes both hands together like that, it's really, really pretty. So left hand, um, you were you were in this position before. Your thumb should be on G and pinky was on um, C. Let's move it up to your number one finger is on B and number three is on G. So we have used that chord many times. So you're going to start with one and three left hand twice, then to move one to the left and do one and five to twice. So one and three twice, one and five twice. Now let's put both hands together. Now do left hand first and right hand three and one together. And do left hand three and one together again. Now do four and one with the right hand. Left hand move down and do one and five. Right hand do three and one together. And do left hand one and five again. And right hand do one and four together. I'll do it again. So left hand go back to your original position. Do one and three with the left hand. G and B. Right hand three and one. Three, one. Left hand again, three and one. Now right hand one and four. Left hand move one down to the left. Do one and five together. Now do right hand three and one. And do left hand one and five again. Do four and one with right hand. Now this is the part it goes standing frozen. I'm going to do in the right time so that you will hear it. Now let's move on to the next part, all right? Now, um, right hand, you're pretty much actually in the same position. All you have to do is move your number one finger to E, right here. And my number three finger is still on G, and number four finger is still on A. One, five, I mean one, three, four and I'm ready to go. Now the left hand, I'm still in the same position actually. So my number two finger is on G, number four finger is on E. I'm going to do that twice and I'm going to move one to the left. So like this. So now my number one finger got G now, and number five finger got number five. C and G, one and five, twice. That would be your left hand part. Let's do that again. Two and four. Twice, move one to the left, grab one and five, twice. Now right hand, it goes one and three together and then you're going to go four and one together all right 
Now after that, you're going to do one and four together twice again. And then you're going to do one and three. It's kind of hard to picture it, but this is the part that in the life I've chosen part. In the life I've chosen. Alright, one and three, one and four twice, one and four twice, and one and three once. Alright, now with the left hand, you're going to start with... Two and four, now two is on G, four is on E. So start with the left hand and then do the right hand. One and three. Do the left hand one more time, two and four, and then the right hand one and four together twice. Now move the left hand one to the left and grab one and five together, which is C and G. G here, C here. Do that, and right hand, do one and four together twice. Now you're going to do left hand, one and five together again once. Now that followed by the right hand, one and three together. So I'm going to do it again. Now two and four. Right hand, one and three, left hand, one and four, twice with the right hand, move the left hand, one and five. Now right hand, one and four, twice. Now do the one and five with the left hand one more time, and then right hand, one and three. All right, so in the faster tempo, if you can see how it sounds like, start from the uh, beginning of the bridge so that you can hear. Isn't that pretty? So, next, let's go to the next part, which is, you won't find me. The past is all behind me. All right, so let's start with your right hand. Now, this one, you're going back to your thumb being on D, which is between the two black keys. All right, so you're going to go three and one together, followed by one and four together. And you repeat that again, three and one together, and four and one together. Now, this is the part goes, you won't that's that part. Now left hand is going back to your thumb is on B and your uh, number three finger is on G. These together. Now you're going to be doing that twice and then you're going to move one to the left and thumb number one is on A. Pinky is between the two black keys. Um, D. Twice. So one and three twice, move one to the left, one and five, twice. Now, let's put both hands together for that part. Now, you start with your left hand, one and three. Now, right hand, one and three. Now, left hand, one and three. Then, right hand, four and one. Move the left hand, one to the left and grab one and five. Now right hand one and three together. Now do one and five um, left hand together again, followed by four and one right hand together. All right, so this is the you won't find me part. Left hand go back to your original position. Let's do that part. Left. Right, all right, now the past is all behind me part, all right, 
let's start with your right hand because we're going to have to move. Um, number two finger is on G. Alright, G. And number one finger is on E. Okay, so we'll start with that. Actually, number three finger should be on A. Number five should be on the high C. And we're going to be using the four on B. Okay, now two and one together. And next one is three and one together. Now that followed by five and one together. And one and four together. And one and three together. That followed by one and two together. So this is the part that goes the past is all behind me. So as you can see that every time you play any note, you're going to be doing a thumb number one to go with it. So for the top note only, and it goes two, three, five, four, three, two. And that's always accompanied by the thumb. Maybe you can think of it that way. Maybe that will simplify it. All right. Now the left hand, my number two is on G and number four is on E. You know, you're going to be doing that twice. And you know where my um, pointy finger number two is? That's where my uh, thumb number one will be for the next part. So it's like I'm just moving one to the left. So two and four, twice. Move one to the left, one and five, twice. Let me show you how they come together, okay? Now, I'm going back to my two and four position again. And start with your left hand. Now, followed by the right hand, one, two, together. Do the left hand two and four together, right hand one and three together. That followed by one and five, right hand. Now left hand, move to the left and do one and five together. Now right hand do one and four together, followed by one and three. So. One and four, one and three, and do the left hand, one and five again, and then do one and two with the right hand. All right, so this is the part. Past is all behind me. All right, now next part, right hand actually moved down so that your three in the finger is on G and your thumb number one finger is on D. All right, we are almost done. Here we go. So this is the part that with the lyrics, it goes buried in the snow. Number three on G, number one is on D, number four is on A. And let's get ready to do number two on F sharp. You're going to go one and three together and do one and four together, followed by number three and number one together and number one and number two together, followed by number one and number three together. So again, you're going to be doing the same one every time you do something else on top. So with the top number only goes three, four, three, two, three. With the lyrics buried in the snow. All right. Now let me see what you can do with the left hand. Left hand, your thumb is on B. Number three is on G. Going to be doing that one and three twice. Move one to the left and do one and five. So again, five is on 
D between the two black keys. One is on A. Twice. All right. So I'm going to go back to your original position with the left hand and show you how you can do both hands together. So start with your left hand, one and three together. Now, followed by the right hand, three and one. Do the left hand one and three. Now do one and four with the right hand together. Move the left hand one and five. Now right hand do one and three together. Now the left hand do one and five again. And right hand one and two. Followed by one and three. All right. I'm going to do it again. So with the lyrics it goes buried in the snow. Now after that left hand grab two and four, you don't have to move, twice and move one to the left and grab one and five. And that is the bridge part. I'm going to do a little slower version, start from the beginning of the bridge so that you can hear how that was supposed to sound. do it in the full speed. Now, after that, you know, you can go back to the chorus, but I would kind of like to end it right here by doing uh, my number three finger on G, number two is on F sharp, and just simply go, let it go. You can do just the right hand. If that's a little bit too simple, it's, you need something more, maybe you can add left hand. Number three on G, number one on B, or maybe you can do, and then you can move, let's move the camera over there and grab this lower G, you can do that, or maybe you can go, um, higher or you can do that with the lower G however you like to do it or you can go crazy <laughs> sound like that but whatever you like to uh, do to finish this song um, put your flavor into it so to speak you know um, well thank you everybody for watching this video and happy practicing. Goodbye.